2022 Super Aeronautique G23. This is a very well equipped boat sitting in a haze gray hull, accent and main stripe with a reef blue interior deck. We two tone the telescoping flight control tower in haze and reef blue. And we did the same with the trailer. Tandem axle boatmate trailer, rocking the reef blue fenders and the haze gray frame. It's got black on black wheels and a bow ladder, transom steps and straps. But really, really like this color scheme. I'm a sucker for reef blue. And it always looks good with haze gray. So this thing's super sharp on the water too. D definitely watch our water video we did of it. Um, we have black Chromax on here, tinted the windshield. The telescoping tower comes with the huge bimini top. Does have um, surf pockets on the roof. That package also comes with the vertical clamping board racks. Comes with a uh, two pairs of 880 tower speakers that come in the uh, custom enclosures. You can see the lighting on those as well. But a pretty sweet tower setup. Thing folds like this up and down. G23. This one does have supplemental ballast option onto it. So the 2200 plus an extra 1450 for a total of th just over 3600 pounds. Um, amazing wake and wave behind this boat. Super fun wakeboard wake. Super long, tall surf wave, tons and tons of push. This thing is a beast. Antique surf system. Does have the surf exhaust. We did a ladder, platform mounted ladder. And this does have the Nautique integrated steer assist. You can see that right there. Well equipped. Does have a reef blue platform as well. Walking down this side just real quick. Kind of gets washed out in here under our lights, but when you get this out on the water, you see the body lines of the boat a lot better. Um, the interior deck is cool. It kind of wraps down under the bow of the boat. So it brings a little bit of that reef blue to the exterior. And then you can see the docking lights mounted up front. Sharp setup. Let's jump inside. Set my camera down real quick. Okay. Get a look at this interior. A little crazy. We did solid reef blue as our main. And then pretty much everything else is haze gray. So uh, again, reef interior deck, reef main on the vinyl. Then we've got haze gray. Um, oh my gosh, I'm having a brain fart. Um, soft max. No, not soft max. Gosh darn it. I can't remember the name of the material. Either way, it is kind of the cross-hatched um, vinyl. Gives it some texture and some depth to the color. Our accents and haze. And we also did haze piping and gray thread. Gray sea deck floor. So everything melds together very nicely. Just kind of a two-tone color scheme on this G. Transom seating, both sides, you got cup holders. There is a transom mounted cooler with a tow point. And that leads us up nicely into the interior where we have sea deck gunnel steps to get across to the center walkthrough. 
And then you have this step that leads us down into the interior so you're not walking on your vinyl all the time. Let's open up our storage compartments here. Where we have wide open storage. No plug and play bags in these. Storage hooks for ropes and life jackets. Open up the center here. That's going to show us where we're keeping that ZZ6 engine. It's a 6.2 liter direct injection engine with 450 horsepower. It's the standard engine on all G series boats. And again, does an awesome job regardless of how many people you have in here or how much ballast you have. This thing again has more ballast from the factory than any other boat Nautique makes. So we look around through our seating, nice wrap around seating through the interior. We did do the enhanced courtesy lighting package. So you've got all your uh, cup holder lighting to match. You can change the color to whatever you want. I always just try to match it to the boat for the videos. You do have the backlit Nautique logo there. And another one right here in the back. We have a little bit of vinyl on our tower base as well as on the outside for a cool touch to pull some of the interior scheme to the outside of the boat. We have starboard side wake view seating that opens up into our storage, which continues into the back. Supplemental ballast bags sit below this hatch. And if you noticed, I have these open, there's another hatch. That's where your rear corner ballasts are. Center seat also flips up for wake view seating as well as the port side. Nothing super new. Same thing we've had in G's for a long time, which is great. See a little bit of different uh, options to set the boat up how you want. More storage under here. You're gonna see we have the poles down here. That is four the aft sunshade. So um, if you're hanging out in the cove somewhere in the sun, you wanna get some shade going, some more shade than just what the Bimini offers. You can attach the canvas from the back, goes all the way over the sun pad of the boat to uh, the, over the platform. And those poles are what you attach the canvas to in the back corners. Side inlays have our Speaker covers, cup holders, phone chargers, phone holders, all the goodies for stashing your gear. Uh, stereo wise, this has as much stereo as you can option on a G23 from the factory. It's the Studio Elite package. So we already saw the four tower speakers up top. We have six interior speakers and the side inlays. In addition to that, there's the wavefront speakers as part of that package up here underneath the windshield. And lastly, if we open up our love seat real quick. You can see a 12 inch sub right there with all of our amps. There's a second 12 inch sub under the driver's uh, side kick panel that is vented through the sides of the boat, which I never showed people this, but you can see them right there. And that channels directly into that subwoofer compartment on both sides. Under here, also have your trash can. One of two batteries is under this hatch here fire extinguisher, some ropes loosely strewn apart in there. Um, this love seat is heated as well as the driver's seat. We also have the heater option. So two hoses right here that pop out with the defroster up front. And then there's a pocket door air dam for the walkthrough to the front. So I can do this there. There's your air dam opens keep the wind from coming through. We can open our glove box, which is vinyl wrapped. Looks great. Storage compartment has charging ports over here, music hookups, toggle switch for your heated love seat here, and the uh, jail head unit. Coming over to the dash. All vinyl wrapped, the whole thing 
super premium feel to it and look to it. Um, they pull in some of that haze gray piping to accent a little bit. We did the tandem spoke steering wheel with the leather wrap, which looks amazing. Driver's seat, again, that's heated, has a bolster, slides, rotates. You can adjust it any way you want for comfort. Let's sit down real quick. Link Panerai screen, new software for 2022. Um, home screen, you're gonna get all your vitals and you can adjust the wake shape and size quickly depending on what activity you're doing. This is just in like a cruise or wakeboard mode right now. Uh, surf mode would, you know, you'd have what side you wanna surf on, and a little bit more adjustment for the wave. You've got your stereo on here, manual ballast. So you can see the five different locations for that. Got all your switches here for lighting and climate. This does have lake maps on it, which aren't loading because I'm in a metal building right now. And lastly, all your rider presets for all the water sports activities you wanna do. Activate a profile, wait for the boat to fill or drain ballast to the assigned levels and you're ready to rip. Super, super easy to set this boat up for anything and it performs amazing. Uh, you have a keyless ignition down here nice storage shelf that runs the whole way back there's a wireless phone charger right here for the driver you got throttle and helm command which you can use to navigate the screen with that if you don't like doing touch screen our power tower actuated tower or i guess i keep saying all the wrong words telescoping tower folds up and down with the arrows here Boat also has Fender Pro, so it has six fenders with the clips that quickly attach a couple different sides uh, or a couple different points on the sides of the boat. We've got our in floor cooler down here. So you got that, and again, the one in the back. Open up the floor hatch. We've got one of our two batteries, our switch, all five of our ballast pumps, drain plug goes down there. Easy access to all that stuff. Before we're finished, let's take a quick look up in the bow. Nice squared off seating in the front of the G23. And uh, we flip open our seat here. Let's see, we've got our cover stored in there. On this side, we got all the fenders to go along with the Fender Pro option. That's a removable um, seat pad up there for coming on via the ladder on the trailer. And that's pretty much it. Oh, I forgot to mention, this does have the big mirror. So, that's it for our blue G23. You can come check it out here at the shop in Indianapolis. Find more info and videos at n3boatworks.com. There's more photos there as well. All the options that this boat is equipped with. Or, if you have questions, Call or text us at 317-845-9253. Thanks for watching.